The last step in the Six Sigma DMAIC process is control. And this is the one thing that most companies overlook, and they forget to put a control plan in place to make sure they sustain their performance. And this example comes from the Automotive Industry Action Group. And here you can see we have a control plan, and who does it, and what are we making, a plastic injection grill, and where's it at, and so on. And then machine by machine, step by step, product characteristics and requirements by requirement, we're going to say how are we going to do this particular process. Now the QI macros we have a fill in the blank template for the control plan. And it just starts out as a blank control plan and then literally you just type in whatever it is that you want in here. So this is before launch and who do we contact, what's our dates and revision dates, uh, what's the part number, who's on the team, and what are we making? An injection, an injection molded grill at plant number three. And so we have plastic injection moldings, machines one to five. We want to check on its appearance. And so we want it to be free of blemishes. And we're going to inspect that visually 100% of the time, continuously. And then, if need be, we'll report that to the inspector. Uh, the goal is no blemishes. We're going to use uh, flow lines. In this case, first piece buy-off on five pieces. We're going to use a check sheet and adjust and recheck. Sink marks, same way. Then we go on to our next thing, which is mounting holes. We want to measure where that hole is located. Again, first piece buy-off. And it's 25 plus or minus one millimeter and the gaps and we're going to measure that hourly with an X, XMR chart or an X bar R chart. And if we have a problem we're going to quarantine and adjust. We're going to measure another dimension here. And again we just keep identifying what we're going to do to make sure that we measure five pieces every hour, put them in X bar R chart to keep track of our process. All right and to make sure that we stay in control. So if our X charts start to drift out of control, we can do something. If our check sheet says that we ought to, you know, stop, then we ought to adjust and recheck what we're doing. And that's the control plan. It just lays out what you're going to do in the order you're going to do it and how you're going to track all of these various requirements of your customer in a timely fashion. And it's easy to do with the QI macros for Excel. You can download a 30-day trial of the QI Macros from QIMacros.com.